Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about GameStop because somebody somebody has to. I guess. Uh, let's talk about GameStop laying off a bunch of people. Wait, more layoffs. More layoffs. It's just a, it, it's getting every day. There's somebody else laying a bunch of people off. Yeah, and GameStop has been laying people off for years, mm -hmm. but now they're laying True. laying their CFO off. Uh, they're laying off a lot of the staff, I guess, at uh, Game Informer, their magazine, their website. Is that still? I think that was still around. It's still a thing. Yeah, I'm surprised GameStop's still a thing. And and the thing is, they're they're pivoting to NFTs. Right. Guess why pay twenty bucks for a two hundred dollar game when you can go do NFTs instead? I, I don't, this doesn't even make sense. This doesn't even make sense. Nothing GameStop does makes sense. I'm sure if you trade in your PS5 and some games, you can get like one NFT. <laughs> it won't even, even be a very good one. won't even be a very good NFT. All right, so let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 272,000 subs. Woo! Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about pop culture, talk about video games. Uh, we talked about GameStop before, of course, you know, we had their, their stock being manipulated. We had their employees being manipulated during the pandemic. I was going to mention the pandemic thing. Yeah, I remember that. That their employees uh, were told to tell the authorities they were essential. Yeah, yeah, it's the time when the authorities come in. Just tell them you're essential and you need to be there. Oh, and buy your own cleaning supplies. And buy your own cleaning supplies, too, while you're at it. So GameStop staff hit with layoffs. This company focuses on NFTs. This My next makes... question is, why is anybody still working at GameStop? How is anybody still working? I don't know, but I'm just like, you'd think by now, with everything we've seen, that you would have got ass out of there a long time ago. Got ass? Got ass out of there. Got you wouldn't have got there. ass there. I mean, I don't think you're going to get much ass at GameStop. I don't think so. A lot of stinky, There's some sweaty asses ass. there, and some people smell like ass, but I don't think you're going to get ass. GameStop and Game Informer staff are out of jobs as GameStop's NFT initiative begins during the crypto crash. Again. I know. I was gonna say, I thought NFTs were like last week. Yes, like they were crashing and yes. it was not a bad move. Everybody's going metaverse yes. now, they're not doing NFTs. And now their idea is to go NFTs after they crash. GameStop is always <laughs> like a day late and a dollar short. Are they doing this to manipulate the stocks? I, I don't. Is this another stock manipulation here? Well, this is actually going to send their, their stock spiraling down. I know. I'm sure. So they can uh, buy them cheap and then make another announcement and then get, <sighs> raise them somehow. GameStop and Game Informer reportedly facing massive layoffs as senior management switches out the company's CFO. Uh, an internal memo obtained by Axios, GameStop CEO Matt Furlong said a number of employees would be let go by the company as it struggles to achieve sustained profitability. It's been struggling to achieve that for years. How is this any different? The publication noted that GameStop has been hemorrhaging cash no. for some time now. You don't say. You wow, don't. that's some crackerjack investigative journalism right there. For a long note, the GameStop had hired 600 new employees in 2021 in the first half of 2022, but he is now apparently reversing course as management better understands the transformation needs of the company. The, the transformation needs are NFTs. They better understand the needs of the company as NFTs. <laughs> Furlong said re remaining store managers and staff that were well, like 10 of these stores left remaining store managers and staff will receive a significant investment. What's that even mean? NFTs. <laughs> good, good. You know, you're still jobbing as a, as a reward. Here's an NFT, but that doesn't fix my store. You, you got an NFT and you get an NFT. Everybody gets paid in Bitcoin. Now. <laughs> yeah. Everybody gets paid in Bitcoin. Game Informer was also hit with layoffs, mostly targeting the publication's video production team. I didn't know they had a video production team, so... Well, past tense. Now we know. Now we know I guess they, they are did. pivoting to video. They're not pivoting to video, yeah. Uh, pivoting to video to lay the video people off. This decision means eliminating excess cost and operating with an intense owner's mentality. Everyone in the organization must become even more hands-on and embrace a heightened level okay. of accountability for results. Basically, translation, we're getting rid of a lot of people, but now you have to do twice the work with no more pay. Yes, a heightened level of accountability for results. You will work your ass off. You'll work harder for the same amount of money or we'll shit can you too. Yeah, but if you do good, we'll give you NFTs. So, uh, yeah, said uh, Wesley LeBlanc. I was laid off by GameStop yesterday on my birthday. Oh, no dude, sorry. I'm no longer an employee of Game Informer. I'm gutted and scared for what's next. Whatever that may be, it still doesn't feel real. Hey, look, we don't want we don't we don't want to see anybody get let go. I think I, I think there's an alarming number of layoffs all of a sudden, and that's it's it's not good. 
No. Uh, the layoffs come amidst growing unrest with GameStop employees. Complaints of low pay, mm -hmm. high quotas, and at least one case, an abusive district manager have resulted in GameStop staff taking to social media to express their frustration. Those are probably the first ones to get fired. Yep. Uh, one store in Nebraska was even forced to shut down as both staff and the store manager quit. Wow. Uh, en masse. En masse. Uh, GameStop is also pivoting into the volatile crypto market. With its own brand of NFTs. Wasn't Mattel doing NFTs for He-Man now or something? Yeah. I don't understand. Like, you're way that's on... your That's your go-to? Because it costs too much to make action figures that are going to warm the shelves. Well, you know, you remember when um, they made, like, you know, the Disney Infinity figures? Mm -hmm. And it, they got expensive. People didn't want to buy them. And they just sat on the shelves. And then, you know... That's kind of what they're doing here again, except that now it's, it's not even a, a tangible object. But they got it backwards because Disney Infinity would have been more profitable if they gave you the option of buying Buy characters NFTs, right. digitally, you know, and only make figures of the most popular characters. I don't characters. know if this is going to change anything. Is this going to... So, I don't understand this is going to this is going to save their company. It just makes it look like they're doing something. That's basically it. GameStop is fucked. This company is completely... Utterly fucked. And what they're doing is they're just trying anything. Well, it sounds like they're making like um, almost like a marketplace where you pay them a, a, a fee to sell your NFTs. So they don't. They're not even going to make anything. They're just gonna. They're just gonna be the middleman. Yeah, it said they're accepting applications to become a creator. The timing of this endeavor couldn't have been worse. However, as the cryptocurrency values have crashed in recent months, NFT sales yes. volume have dropped as lowest in over a year. Yeah, but NFTs kind of crashed a while, like a couple months ago. This is kind of like, hey, guys, we're getting out of video games, and we're just going to do pogs. Yeah, kind of. Lots of pogs. I like this. Uh, customers have expressed criticism of the recent lay what? layoffs, noting that cutting jobs while taking wild risks with crypto seems irresponsible. <laughs> it does. I mean, I can't I can't wrap my head around this. I'm just like, are they trying? I mean, it, it almost comes across like they're trying to fail so they can claim losses or something, because this doesn't make any sense. They had Reggie uh, from Nintendo It was on their board at one point, and then he dipped out. Or I mean, like GameStop could be something. They were going to pivot to like eSports and in-person gaming. But that made and... more sense. NFTs. Oh, my God. And then some of the NFTs and blockchain. That's right. It's blockchain. Wait, they say blockchain is the main focus. So, yeah. wait, are they going to get – now they're going to be – now they're going to be uh, – uh, but yeah, everybody's going to try to boycott them now because how dare you? Carbon footprint, people. Yeah, they're... they're yeah, blockchain group. Blockchain group. Change will be a constant. Here's a leaked memo. Change will be a constant as we evolve our commerce business and launch new products through our blockchain group. These changes will enable us to operate in a profitable manner, not sure how, as we execute against our strategy of pursuing sales growth in our commerce business and launching new products that empower customers within the digital asset and Web3, is it Web3 gaming verticals? Yeah. How the hell is that? How the hell does NFTs do that? Something, 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 blockchain. Basically, instead of selling uh, shitty used games. They're going to sell shitty NFTs and yes. metaverse shit. Yes, but that's not like this isn't sustainable. Like it wouldn't really be that hard to fix GameStop because there is a desire, especially now. People want tangible, physical things now. Yeah, they want um, retro games. They people want... are, are, are going against NFTs and virtual stuff at this point. They want physical things. I think it's that like GameStop could be something, or a, a smaller number of stores could be something that gamers would really dig if they rethought the whole thing. But they have to do it on such a, a scale, you know, with it being this massive franchise where if you only had like, okay, we have 10 stores and we sell mostly retro video games and associated merchandise and, and Yeah, but stuff they like can't that. be and a big company with this 10 stores. That's just it. But here that's they're the talking about that. They're saying the NFT trading volume has fallen by 90% in recent months. So now's the time you make this big move? Oh, I'm sure it was in the works for a couple of years. I know, but, yeah. but I mean, I mean... The, I don't know. GameStop seems to think the same kind of people who made it a meme stock will go big on the Web3 concept. Nope. I don't think people will. Nope. All this seems very divorced from what used to be the core concept of the company, a store that sells video games with value-added assets like an enthusiast magazine. Also seems a bit like diving headfirst into a pool that has just been almost entirely drained right. of water. Right. This doesn't make any sense. 
Um, here's another guy who worked for Game Informer. GI show is canceled for the week. I have no fucking words. Uh, it's unknown how much of Game Informer remains, uh, as it was already cut down before this during earlier layoffs. Um, yeah, it's just, I mean, people will at least read the magazine for the most part. I mean, I think some of these magazines take things too far politically, and I think they, they lost a lot of audience by doing that. Yeah. But I don't, I, I just can't understand this. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't get it. It, there, there definitely is a need and demand for a GameStop type store. I just don't think GameStop. An actual GameStop type store. Right. From 20, 25 years ago. Right. But that would be up to individual store owners, like comic right. shop owners, to, to do a video game store. And we used to have a great one around here, and then the pandemic put it yeah, out of business. Yeah, put out of business. But, there um, you go. You could open one eventually. Well, let's add it to our list. Add it to the list of many things. But um, yeah, they were going to go. I remember they were talking. They were going to get into esports, and they were going to do like competitions and stuff at the stores and all this stuff, which actually sounded like a pretty good idea. And now we'll call it Game Start. Game Start. Game. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah. This is this is. I just can't. I just you know. There's your daily dose of stupidity. Daily dose of stupidity. All right, guys, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. So run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe! Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him! Well, I'm just here for the wax. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>